the only person who really knows how that feels on a top five game is Gino. You've been on some of those sidelines in games like that. What, what does it feel like to be the coach that was in your position in a, in a, a game like this where it was, it was coming so easy? Well, you know, we, we start off and it's back-to-back -back threes by Notre Dame. So it wasn't one where I'm like, hey, this is a piece of cake. You know, we had some breakdowns right right off the bat. We gave Mabry a three, then West Belt hit, hits a three. Um, but offensively, we, we have been working on our tempo. We've been working on our passing. I, I thought offensively we were as good as we've been all year. Not, not for the fact that – we scored 100, but we passed the ball well. We got the ball to people when they were open at the right time. We've had a problem, you know, throughout some games of we'll hold it for an extra second, and then all of a sudden when you pass it, now it's a contested shot. Where, where tonight, we were getting the ball out of our hands. We were getting it to your teammate when they were open for us to shoot. And... You know, I, I've watched Asia do it in practice. I've watched Maisha do it in practice. You know, Maisha does it. That 15 foot reverse pivot at the elbow is like a layup for some people. You know, that's how consistent she shoots it, that's how good she feels about it. And then. A shooter like Asia, you know, we're fortunate. We got her some looks early and she knocked them down. And then all of a sudden that basket becomes real big. You know, that, that fadeaway three there at the end of the third was off a set play. Like, you know, we, we ran it. I thought they defended it pretty well. But, you know, when you're – I guess she was a seven and nine before she took that one and you hit, you know, that, that, that basket doesn't seem that hard to make when, you're, when you've got that flow going. And that's one thing that I'll say for Asia. That's, she's really been focused in and dialed in and uh, has really been playing well. As in your time here, you've had some big games and big crowds. <clears throat> some of the most of those times where you haven't won the game, is this the stars kind of aligning? Is this the first time you feel like you everything kind of came together and you won a big game with the atmosphere and everything? Well, I, you know, I just told Kara and Rebecca, you know, we we've really done a great job of getting some great crowds in here, and about eight of them have been against <laughs> U U U UConn. You know, when they have won about 127 in a row. You know, and it's like, golly. I mean, we, we, we came out and competed, but unfortunately we weren't able to get one of those wins. And uh, that's why I was so excited about this ball game. I was so excited that, you know, we've, we've been out there working really hard on promoting it and trying to get ticket sales. And I just want to thank everyone, all 12,000 that came out tonight. Uh, and I'm hoping, you know, I, I went to dinner last night and uh, met a couple, and the, the wife was like, I'm trying to talk my husband into coming to the game. I'm like, I've got two tickets. If you come, they're on, they're on me. You know, and I'm hoping they came tonight. You know, because if you don't want to come back after that, I don't know what to tell you. You know, so I'm hoping we had a lot of first-time people possibly that came. And that's some pretty darn good basketball. It's entertaining, and, and the kids play so hard. It's not that we have to score 100, but they play hard. They're diving on the floor after loose balls. They're picking each other up. The excitement is there. And, you know, our our loyal ones that have been out here, you know, it's our, our fans are they're very smart basketball fans. They're very knowledgeable. They know when to cheer. And they're just not cheering all the time. Like, if we're struggling on offense or if we need to stop, they'll start to get loud. And that that's what was so impressive about it is, you know, we have a basketball city. You know, there's no question about it. And we have knowledgeable basketball fans, which makes our game so exciting. Jeff, you're, you're 19 and 0. You beat the number two team by 33. Should you be the number one team in the country? No. I'll leave that to UConn. Uh, you know, that, that that's one of those. You, 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 you don't want to poke a Especially when they're a bear. Yeah, especially when, when, when they're on their schedule. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate that. Uh, no, I mean, you know what? I've watched them on film. They're fantastic. You know, I, I'm really proud of how, how we're playing right now. But I'll say it all along. It, it, it's these young women in our locker room. It's just, it, it really is amazing. I mean, you know, there are players that want to play more. I want to play more. You know, but when I'm looking at the bench, I mean, you know, Notre Dame calls a timeout, and I've got players that haven't played. They're the first ones off the bench to go out there. They're getting excited. There's no, you know, man, I should be playing. You know, and I, and I talk to them like I'm I'm honest with all of them. That's it, the one thing I, I I sleep well at night. You know, and I'll tell like Bianca and Kylie. You know, like. So did you all want? I'll ask him like jokingly. So did you want me to take my issue out of the game? You know, she's 15 to 20. Like, 
you know, she looked great. Uh, Asia, you know, like, guys, did you want me to take her out for five, six minutes so you can go out there? You know, and they'll all laugh, be like, no. You know, but when they do struggle, we have depth that that can help us. We've got to continue to develop it. I thought Kylie played aggressive tonight. You know, she had four block shots. And that's all I've been telling her. She's got all the fundamental skills. She just got to play hard. She's got to dive after a loose ball. She's got to go get a rebound. You know, and when she starts to do that, then I think she'll start to see even more success. But we're going to continue to work with our bench. I, I thought Dana tonight did a really good job in her 16 minutes of harassing the ball. You know, she was on, on, on Mabry a lot when she was at the point and just made it difficult. They had to start their offense way further out than they wanted to because of the ball pressure that we were putting on. So it, it, it's a great team win. They're, they're a great group of young women, and uh, I really I, I enjoy coaching them. It's fun to come to work. Uh, they, they don't always like me, but that's okay. Going back to your one game at a time mentality, how much talk is there with this team about the ranking and the record? We, I'll, I'll be honest with you. We talked about it. I think when we were 17 and 0 or something, and if we wanted, it was the best, the most wins, consecutive wins in, in, in school history. But that's the only time we've ever talked about it. Uh, we don't even bring it up. We we honestly don't don't worry about it. We, it's we know. Our goal is to compete to hopefully have a chance to win an ACC regular season championship. Then after that, our goal is to hopefully compete to win the ACC tournament championship, and then hopefully to get to a Final Four and compete for a national cha championship. But I'm not going to worry about that now. We've got a week to get some rest, and we, we, we've got at, we're, we're playing at Pitt. And if you go back and look at our games at Pitt, every single one of them has been a challenge. So we're not going to overlook anyone. And if we do, that would be a shame on me. Last few games, you've, um, this team has gone out to strong starts, only to kind of falter a little bit in the second half and, and let the opponents come back in. What was the difference um, in uh, the, in this team being able to to, to stay on the gas uh, for 40 minutes? Well, we we had talked about it. That, that's something that we had stressed, and we had you know had dialogue of. You know, if you want to get respect, if you want to get national respect, you've got to figure out a way to put a 40-minute game together. you got to play four quarters. It can't just be I get up 20 after one and then we play even throughout. Um, now, I, I'm, it's not going to be 167. You know, if we play Notre Dame in the conference tournament, I promise you it's not going to be 100 to 67. You know, so... You know, I, I've always had – I love my emails I get. I love our fan base. They're fantastic. You know, we're up 26 to 1 at NC State. And, like, I think some of them think it should have been 52 to 2. You know, I'm like, well, they are going to score. You know, so it's – we're everybody in our league's good. So you're just not going to – if you're up 20 maybe after the first quarter because you're shooting it well, you're not going to be up 40 at half. It's just not how it works. Tonight, we put three quarters of really good basketball together. I, I honestly thought we played 30, uh, 35 really good minutes. And then the last five, I've got some players out there that I'm throwing out there, and they're in situations they're normally not in. You know, so it is tough. It's you're trying to figure out, okay, I'm used to being out there when my ish is on the floor, and now I'm the go-to player. So I'm, they're in situations they're not necessarily used to, but I think it's good for them, and they'll continue to, to develop from that. Jeff, yesterday you joked about being up there, winning by 30. And even in your dream when you won the Powerball, did you think you could win by 30? In the no, if I won the power, Powerball, somebody else would be sitting here. <laughs> I can guarantee you that one. All right? Now, if I won the Powerball, you you never see me again, especially you. Uh, no, I never – I mean – I, I went on the ra the radio on TV all, all, all week long, and I never dreamed that either team would be in a situation where, you know, our largest lead was 44, with seven and a half to go in the game. Never dreamed that. You know, never. It was never in my as, as I play the game through my mind before. You know, the night before and the day of, like playing out scenarios of if this happens, what am I going to do? What are we going to run? There was never a time that I was like, hey, when we're up 44 with seven and a half to go, this is what we'll do. You know, it was more, hey, when it's down to the last four minutes, because I told the kids, it's going to be 
I expect I, I expect it to, I expected it to be, and I know if we play him again, it will be. It's going to be a heavyweight fight. It's. You know, body blow as Coach Norman sat there and told our kids, there's not going to be a haymaker that knocks them out. You got to just keep grinding and keep fighting and keep fighting. And eventually, hopefully, you can knock the, uh, knock them out. But, you know, a- after that, those first two quarters, I think we had made a pretty good statement. And defensively is where we won the game. It's a team that averages 85 points a game. We held them to 28 in the first half. If you yeah, talk about Jasmine yeah. plays that way, I mean, she gives you that rebounding assist. Score defense, what dimension does it add? That's exactly what Jazz can do, you know, because that's I'm challenging her to, to continue to get in the gym, to continue, to continue to work on her pull up jump shot and be a scoring threat. Because when she can do that for us, that's the dynamic that we don't have her athleticism, her ability to get above people on a pull up jump shot. Um, it, she, she does that now all of a sudden. You're looking at four or five scores on the floor. Erica Carter, I thought, played a fantastic game. You know, it didn't force anything, took good shots, was very patient, got the ball to the, P, the, the people at the right time. And then when her shots came, she knocks down a three in the first half, which was a big one. And then that three there in the second half, when it got kicked back out to her, it's just a rhythm three that she makes. Um, I, I, I tell AC all the time what, what, what my goal is for her. She, she needs to contribute between 10 and 18 points a night. And that doesn't mean by all scoring. Like tonight she had six, but she also had six, uh, six assists. So I tell her, well, there's 12 points in assists plus the six you scored. There's your 18. And that's how we like to go through things to try to get them to un- understand. It's not just the number of points you score, but it's how many you help account for. Jeff, it may not have been the intent, but do you think this performance tonight from your team sends a message to the rest of the country? Well, I don't know if it sends a message to the rest of the country. I mean, I, I think P, people, when they look at the score, are going to be like, wow, what just happened? Uh, and, you know, I, it's it shows you what we can do. I, I think that's what it does. It shows you what our potential is. Now, we're not going to shoot 65% from the field every night. You know, we, we, we shot better from the field than we shot from the free throw line. And that's not going to happen every night. But the one thing I will say, say, say for these kids, and I, and I tell them all the time, if you want to be a great team, if you want to compete to win a championship, you've got to be able to make a, a, a open shots. All of you have to. And I thought we did that tonight. You know, there, there weren't a lot of contested. There, there were a few that Durr shot there. Shot clock running down, come off a ball screen that may have been contested. But a majority of them were open. Like, we passed the ball so well that people were getting open shots. And you've got to be able to make them. And we did that tonight. Coach Mitchell said this tape's going in the trash can. How much of this will you watch? Well, we'll watch because because there are some things that we've we've got to get better on. Our defensive tra- transition, we gave up I think six points uh, in transition. Uh, we we had a few la- lapses on defense where we we're supposed to be in one type of defense, and three of them were, one of them wa- uh, wasn't. So there there's things that we're going to show that we need to improve on, and offensively, I'll use part of it to just show how well we pass the ball. You know, when you're unselfish, all we've been talking about is tempo, te- tempo, tempo, t- uh, tempo for the past, I mean, month. And it's as simple as it's a dead ball, we're taking it out. And instead of catching, turn around and walk, we throw it up the floor, I think, to AC. AC takes two dribbles, throws it to Asia in the corner for a three off a dead ball because our tempo was so good. You know, as a defense, you're kind of waiting to get back. I tell our kids the tempo starts with getting ready to take the ball out of bounds. Sprint to get there. Then the official hands it to you, you go. So I'm really proud of them because we have worked on it and they executed. Is this the most dominant team performance that you've had in your time here? Yeah, I, I'd say that for sure. There's there's no quite, no question about that. I mean, again, I thought Sam Fearing played fantastic. Jazz played really well. I, I Yeah, it, it was a team effort, there's no doubt. It wasn't just, even though Asia had 36, it's not like it was just throw the ball to Asia and watch her work. I mean, she was scoring within the offense. Her teammates were, were getting her the basketball. It was pretty impressive. You, you mentioned winning an ACC championship. You know what's going to go through them. What, what's the statement you make there? I mean, they've lost like two games ever in the league. Uh, uh, Notre, uh, no, 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 Notre Dame? What, what, what's your question? What's the statement you make beating them? That I mean, that well, now we have a chance. I mean, you know, we finished a uh, fifteen and one two uh, two years ago, and the the problem is, I think in in my eleven years here, I think we've been fourteen and two, fifteen and one. Uh, another time we we're fifteen and one, but we've been in the league with UConn. 
you know, it's like you you look at our league r- record, and ninety percent of the leagues you're, you're you're having a chance to win. Well, with UConn and Notre Dame, how 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 dominant they've been within the, the leagues, it, it's a battle. You know, I, I tell people all, all all the time. Everybody talks about you know winning conference championships. I'm like, I've never won one. I've I've been coaching for 22 years, and I've got one co Sun Belt Conference cha- championship when I worked with Paul Sandiford at Western Kentucky. That's the only one we've ever had, you know. But we've had the opportunity in my years to play for th- in three fi- in three Final Fours because we do play in a great league, and that's where, you know, I think our teams continue to battle with each other. We we make each other better, and then when postseason come comes around, this league is nor is normally making noise in it. How much are you having to tell this team to, to savor the moment that this truly has got to be one of a one in a career seasons? No, I, we don't I, I don't. I don't even talk about it. I mean, I tell them to enjoy it. Like today, I'm like, hey, enjoy this. You know, enjoy the win. And then, is this what you want, or do you want more? Because if you want more, then get back in the gym and continue to work on what you've been working on to get where we are now. Uh, for us as coaches, you know, the the, the bye week's nice for the players. I've got a six o'clock flight tomorrow to head up to, to, to Boston to go watch a high school game on Saturday and then I've got a flight to DC on Saturday night to watch one on Sunday I mean it, it's what it's what we do so it's, it's good for the kids but it, it's recruiting for the coaches considering that this was a nationally broadcast game uh, and everything else what does this win like this do for the program well, I mean, it's it's a nationally televised game, which is great because we do recruit nationally. I mean, you look at our roster; we have players from all over the co- the country. Uh, you know, it's it, it's not like it's the first big game that, that that we've won here. You know, so it's just a, another like, hey, look what they've done, and we're we're we're, we're doing it with 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 one senior. You know, my, my issue is extremely talented. There's no question about it. But we we have a good group that's coming back. You know, and we've re, uh, re- recruited well. That's one thing that uh, you know. Even Tom said back when 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 he hired me, he's like, I, I just don't want a good year. I don't want a good year every three or four years. I I want to establish a women's basketball program here. Uh, and and that that was something that excited me. And that's what I think we have done here is we have a program. It's just not one team. It's not one, uh, one year. And that's what we take pride in as coaches, and we're going to continue to work on. Jeff, when you look at when you look at this win, I mean, how does this compare for you as a coach to maybe the Bear win in terms of the importance, or or maybe what the, what the players were able to accomplish? It, it, it's not close, and I don't mean that with any disrespect. But that Baylor win was to get us to the Elite Eight. You know, this win gets us to our sixth conference game of the year. You know, like, I can't I'll, uh, there's I can't compare games right now to that Baylor game or Tennessee game. You know, because everybody seems, seems to forget that, you know, when I talk to people that we had to beat Tennessee to get to the Final Four. Uh, you know, our Maryland game in, in, in 09 to go to the Final Four. You know, Oklahoma, Cal to get to the Finals. Those, those are games that, you know, I don't even compare regular season games to those because those are, when you lose, you're done. And it was, it's amazing. I, I still say, you know, it, it gives me goosebumps when I sit there and think about those ball games, what some of those players did and what they gave to this program. But now, is this a very important, a great win? There's no doubt because you can't – you've got to figure out a way to beat Notre Dame if you want a chance to compete to win our league. And I'm not afraid to say that. I mean, it's just reality. Um, and, and we did that tonight. So I'm really proud, uh, proud, proud of these young women. Two more. I got nowhere to go. What, what's your rush? Got a hot day? Hot, Nick. Let's stay on No, thank, thank you guys. I, I appreciate everything. Um, and again, just please, if you do anything, just thank, uh, thank our crowd. If you write an article, please just thank our crowd for me because it was, it was absolutely outstanding. Um, look forward to hopefully seeing you all here next Sunday. All right, take care.